Apartment buildings are the best investment out there. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through five reasons why you need to invest in multifamily real estate. So make sure you hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss more videos about building wealth through multifamily real estate. I'm Seth Ferguson. Let's get right into it and talk about why multifamily, five reasons why. And the very first uh, reason I want to talk about, and this is incredibly pertinent uh, to today with everything going on in the world, is stability. Multifamily real estate is incredibly stable. A couple of years ago, CBRE did a study where they looked at all the different real estate asset types and how they performed in the past recessions. And multifamily real estate came out on top by a long shot. And this is one of the main reasons uh, that initially attracted me to multifamily real estate many years ago, because multifamily apartments are incredibly stable. And especially over the past couple of years, you know, this has really tested all real estate, right? People can, uh, you know, lock up their offices, not go into work. They can shut down their businesses, move everything online, but people will always need a place to live. This was incredibly apparent over the past couple of years. And here's another thing why uh, multifamily is so incredibly stable. What keeps going up over time? Rents, right? If you look at the single family home market, right? Prices are, are like this all the time. But with multifamily, it's rock solid because the rents, the income uh, coming into the property is so incredibly stable. And when the housing market goes down, when there's less people buying houses, well, where do they live? They actually start renting and that puts upwards pressure on rent. So multifamily, especially during recessions and e economic trouble, incredibly, incredibly stable. And it's one thing to uh, pump up an asset and say, hey, listen, everything's going great right now. Look at how great this asset's performing. I would argue that it's more important to look at how an asset performs when things are tough. And uh, rule number one of investing is don't lose your capital. And with multifamily, it is the most stable asset you can find out there. It is rock solid. Reason number two you need to invest in multifamily real estate is cash flow. Now, I started off uh, my real estate investing journey with single family homes, and I was what I called equity rich, cash flow poor. I had a whole bunch of equity tied up in this property that I couldn't access for a number of different reasons, you know, financing being so tight and all that stuff. But I really had no cash flow. And I remember uh, there was this one duplex and the drain out to the sewer, a tree uh, root had gone right through it and it needed to be repaired. And the repair cost 8,000 bucks. And at the time, even though I had lots of equity in the property, uh, the repair basically wiped out three years worth of cash flow for that property. You know, if you're investing in a major metro area like I was, cash flow is non existing, but you need cash flow to sustain your investment. Without cash flow, your investment dies and it's incredibly tough to scale. It's next to impossible to scale unless you have strong cash flow. But that's where multifamily comes in because of the scale, right? You have the economies of scale where you have more units on the same property, it's much more efficient. Managing is so much more efficient and everything gets easier. You know, you look at duplexes, triplexes, you know, cash flow isn't really there. You can't really grow and scale for a number of different reasons. With multifamily, you can own a thousand units on one piece of property. And I remember when I looked at my real estate goals when my son was born and I realized I needed to own a thousand houses to hit my real estate goal. Can you imagine owning a thousand houses, right? A thousand roofs, a thousand tenants, a thousand uh, property uh, bills, all of that sort of stuff. That's insane. That's not doable, but it's definitely possible with multifamily real estate because the cash flow is there, the scale is there. It's so much more efficient. Reason number three is financing. Financing, you know, going back to my single family home uh, examples. Financing to get to get a mortgage for a single family home, a duplex, triplex, any residential property, you need to give your arm, your leg, your firstborn child, and uh, probably your, your kidneys too, right? It's so incredibly tough, especially once you get a number of properties under your belt. Uh, growing in that point is incredibly tough. Like the cash flow is not there. The banks don't really want to lend you money. You are on the hook as a person borrowing the money. Uh, you have to qualify for the debt. With multifamily, with commercial financing, 
totally different story. And I'll put a link right up here to a video I did explaining all about financing multifamily property. Basically, we have recourse, non-recourse debt. Non-recourse debt means that the bank can actually come after your personal assets if, if something goes wrong. They can just take over the asset itself. Uh, that uh, removes a whole lot of risk exposure from an investor point of view. Uh, the terms are better. You have interest only periods uh, with commercial financing. That doesn't really exist with residential lending and that helps improve your cash flow. That way you can put more money back into the property through your value add process and actually earn a better return on the property. So financing so much better and you're, this actually helps you scale even more because you're not limited uh, by the small little box that residential lending puts you in. So check out those links, interest only and then recourse, non-recourse. I've done a whole bunch of videos on those subjects. And reason number four that you need to invest in multifamily assets is control. Control is a huge one and professional investors, as you know, seek to control the investment as much as possible. We can't control interest rates. We can't control govern, po government policy. We can't control you know, the media. And that is why we have to control as much as we can with the investment. Going back to single family homes, because that is something I know inside and out, you have no control over the value of the property because it's valued using what's called the comparable approach. And I'll put a link right up here to that video where I go in depth on how uh, those properties are valued, right? Like if you've got four other homes that are very similar to yours and they all sell for a million bucks, well, guess what? Your property, regardless of the rent that it produces, it's worth a million bucks. That's all the lender cares about. That's all the appraiser cares about. It's called the comparable approach. You're looking for an apples to apples comparison. With multifamily, multifamily is valued using what's called the income approach. So we have a whole lot more control as investors, as owners, as landlords, because we can actually control the NOI of the property, how we raise rents, what value add, uh, projects we implement and how we control our gross revenues, optimize our expenses. And I'll put the link right up here, walking through the whole income approach process so you can have a better understanding of it. And control is huge and that is where multifamily is very strong because we have a bigger impact on the value of the asset that we own. And last but not least, number five is tax benefits. Now my writing has uh, degenerated since up here and that's usual <laughs> with these videos, but number five, tax benefits. The larger you scale up, the more you can do when it comes to tax credits, right? We've got uh, depreciation, we have bonus depreciation, cost segregation studies. With a single family home, with a small little building, you know, it doesn't make sense. It's cost prohibitive to do a cost segregation study. It, it's cost prohibitive uh, to take advantage of everything out there because it just doesn't make sense. But when we scale up as a passive investor, as a general partner, whether you own the building yourself, you own it uh, as part of a joint venture, you syndicate it, or you're part of a fund, it doesn't matter. The, the more you scale with multifamily, the more tax benefits, the more advantageous it is uh, as a property owner. And you can do a whole lot uh, to mitigate your tax liability through owning multifamily real estate. So not only is it incredibly stable, you have strong, strong cash flow. You have great financing terms that actually help the cash flow. You have more control over the value of the asset and you have the tax benefits. This is why multifamily is the best investment out there. And if you are looking to do your very first multifamily deal, I want you to go to callseth.com. If you're starting from scratch and you want to get to stage one, which is your first deal, I have a program that can help you. It's called Discover Multifamily. And we have had a ton of students go through it and have tremendous success. So go to callseth.com, book a call, and we'll chat with either myself or one of my team members, and we will get you on board and started in the Discover Multifamily program. So if you like this video, if you found this useful, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And until next time, happy investing.